Yes, we're gonna stay here. Oh, okay. uh, can you close the door for me? All right, we're gonna start with today. Um, I recommend you move for war. Otherwise, I need to, you know, go to what we. We gonna have a, a discussion. Okay, so you you don't just sit here, just listen to me. I want you to talk. Okay. I want you to uh, open your mouth. Number one, um, how many of you <coughs> are also taking, probably not too many, how many of you are also taking cap stock? Cap stock. Not yet, right? Yeah, but because I know very few of you are also taking. Capstone. Capstone usually is the very last course for your program, all right? Yes. So I want to verify, I want to clarify. Uh, eventually I should have done this uh, last week, but it will be too late. I want to tell you what's the difference between this class and Capstone, okay? This is the sample. This is the sample of the business plan. Eventually, this is your final product for your capstone class. Okay, and I just took this from my another student, and he graduated already. And this is his, this is his final product. So I believe this is about fifty pages. Fifty, probably thirty-five to fifty pages. Business plan. And also, I mentioned for this class. For your final project is also business plan. However, okay, rule number one, rule number one, uh, it will not happen to you because you are not taking, okay. But for anyone, for, for any student, if you are taking the capstone, I will not ask you to give me the same copy. Don't give me the same copy you submit to your capstone and submit the same copy to me, right? Otherwise, you do not learn anything. And, you know, entrepreneur is more like a um, macro, in a macro scale, okay? This is more, more like a micro, right? So, you may pick up the, the same business. However, you cannot give me the, the same copy you submit to the uh, another class. Say for example, you submit to your capstone, and you cannot use the same copy to me. And also, I don't worry about that because I do not ask for, the, I never ask for the hard copy like this. So even though you may use the same information, the same data for your capstone class, you may you may use the same one, but I ask for the same different format. So for example, like this student, maybe this student use the same number here. Okay, same information here. However, for your capstone, you are required to have the, your final project as a printing, as a, as a printing out, okay? But I do not. I ask for the uh, final project as a 15 minutes, a video presentation. So number one for, for today, I want to give you the idea what's the difference between this class, different from another capstone class. Maybe, I can imagine, maybe some of those sections may overlap, okay? So with the same token, you may use the same information you use here, today, you apply the same information to later on to your capstone class. If you are taking your capstone later on, I don't care, but since this is the different, two different class, okay? So you may use the same information, but you will not use, you, bottom line is, you, you don't give me the printing out. Okay? I will not accept the, the printing out that like this. Because I know, if any student give me the printing, I know you've done nothing. You just, you just use another project to me. Okay? I, I do not appreciate it. Okay? You can use the same information, but don't use the same one you use in another, another class already. Because you, you submit this to Capstone, you took your credit from another cl class, you cannot use the same information here and get another query. It's, it's not fair, okay? And number two, 
we will talk about more business plan for today. And also, in order to finish your final project within 15 minutes, oral presentation, I do not expect you give me the complete business plan, which is totally fine. So that is another difference, okay? That is another difference. This class is different from Capstone. For your Capstone, you must submit complete copy. You must submit complete version, okay, from the whole structure. Okay. Um, hopefully you have more book today. That is on your page 77, okay, on your page 77. We talked about this already. Usually for your business plan, you start with uh, executive summary to begin with, right? However, for this class, for this class, for your final project, I will help you to finish that step by step, okay? I will not be alone by yourself. We're gonna work your final project step by step, every class. And eventually, I'll, I'm going to push you to finish your project step by step. You don't wait for the, the last class, okay? So for each class, I will try to push you to give us your idea step by step. So for your final project, in order to finish everything within 15 minutes, I do not expect you give me the final complete like this. You can just pick out either one or two sections from here. Say for example, from last week, we talked about exit strategy. Even for your final project, within 50 minutes, you only talk about only one issue. Okay, not limited to, but you just pick out one issue, say exit strategy, good enough. As long as you can finish your final project around 50 minutes, oral presentation, that is good enough. And while if you can finish everything, the seven or eight section within 15 minutes, it's okay. It's better, okay? And um, when you say oral presentation, I mean, are you gonna require the face on? No. Thank you. No, 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 I no, don't no, like no. my face on that. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. If you like to, <laughs> you're pretty much welcome, all right? Uh, no, it is not okay. I mentioned this last week already, and then uh, I fully respect your privacy. Okay, I fully respect your privacy. Uh, when I say oral, I, I never say facial, okay? I never say facial presentation, okay? So I, I just only require your, your voice. Well, even you don't like your voice, you have somebody to do the voice, it's okay. But you need to, you need to complete by yourself your content. You need to do the content. So, for example, when I say oral presentation, you just prepare each slide. You just prepare each slide. And usually, I, I, I learned this from another student, usually the very, very uh, unexpensive, very, very least expensive way, if you use Microsoft, this is a movie maker, what's the name? Yeah. I, Abby, what's the name, Abby? Uh, it's a movie maker, right? Isn't yeah. it? Window Movie Maker, I believe. Windows yeah, that's what I have. Maker. Yeah, if you use yeah, Apple, you have to, right, if you use Apple, there's a much better program come with. But if you are the Windows Windows user, I believe the, the Movie Maker is free. It's, it's free, yeah, it's okay. under there. And I use that, I'm the user. I, I know movie, movie Maker is very easy to use, very, very easy. And, and you just prepare your slide, and then you just record it before, you just record it. Then you can mix it together. And then you can mix, mix it. And then after you, you, you make out the movie, then you save as a movie file, then you upload to any other website. Then you're done. You're done. Again, you know, I will try to help you to finish your final project step by step. We don't wait, all right? We don't wait. So even today, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that, all right? So again, number one issue is, even though we all talk about business plan, but this class is different from capstone, okay? It's, it's broader, eventually the scope is, is, is broader. And then for your final project, if you can finish your everything complete 
business plan within 15 minutes, it's okay. If not, you just pick up whatever topic you think is very important. All right, we're gonna talk about that. Right. Following this, okay, for today, we're gonna spend more time to talk about business plan. Eventually, we'll talk about VC. We're gonna talk about venture capital more. We, we talked a little bit from last week. We'll talk about more. Okay. What is the criteria usually VC they are looking for? We'll talk about that issue. And also, I want you to participate. Because you are not just sitting here, I want everybody open your mouth we talk. You never, you never had any experience with VC, it's okay. In, in, in our whole life, probably we never face to face to talk about, to talk with VC, venture capital. Probably, probably only very few people will have chance to deal with VC, it's, it's fine. In our real life, maybe we will have very, very little chance we talk to, to VC people. It's okay, but for this class, we will try to simulate, try to get a feeling what kind of criteria a VC company they are looking for. If you want to convince any VC to put money in to your project, to your business, what kind of criteria they are looking for. So we'll spend a little bit time about the VC. And then, and then, don't forget, our first homework, eventually only one homework due for tomorrow. But it's okay, you just send me the email, but we'll talk about your, your homework. Okay, we'll talk about your homework. We'll talk about what do you think? What did you think? Who is the next? Who is the next? And you pick out the business. Don't pick out the product. Okay? You pick out the company. Who is? And you give us a little bit idea what this company is about. Okay? If you don't have any idea, and try your very hard, because again, we only meet six or seven times for a whole semester. If you miss one class, you miss one sixth this big percentage. So for every Saturday, you spend your time, you come here, uh, not just for nothing, okay? Not just, not just for application. You don't have any application, believe me, okay? Even you absent for the whole semester, you get a B minus, okay? You got a guaranteed B minus already. So you come here not, never only for application. As I say, you don't have any application. And I hope if you want to spend two hours, three hours sitting here, hopefully we can get something, okay? We can get something. And when you finish this class, when you walk out from this door, you are different, a little bit, okay? Then you walk, okay? So we're gonna spend a little bit, little bit time. So if you, don't, if, you, if you don't have any idea at this moment about your homework, then think about it. Think about that, all right? We're gonna talk about that. Right. So let's go back to today, business plan, all right? Um, you want to pass around this? This is not confidential because this is uh, supposed to be published, okay? This is a uh, side today is uh, September 8th, last week. So this is very, very fresh. And this student just finished the capstone. So just give you one idea. And one more time, if you can finish your final project, complete everything, cover each section, I'm fine, I'm fine with you. But if you cannot do that, because only limit to 15 minutes, you just pick out one or two or three sections and you elaborate, it should be fine. Uh, Dr. Tong, can we get a PDF version of that online so we can? I can ask, yeah, I can ask so this can guy, I, I can, yes. I can, uh, uh, well, he, he was my former student, I believe it. He doesn't mind, but I will ask, okay. yes. Any other questions so far? So, thank you. Thanks. So again, um, 
the goal okay the goal for this for this class is by the end of this semester and you are produced you will come out your final project assuming it is a business plan right so at the beginning you need to pick out your business you need to pick out your business your company you tell me what kind of business you're going to run all right if you don't have any idea i will push you very hard you must you must have some kind of idea all right any kind of idea all right and today is the mid of september i will push you very hard to create any idea what kind of business in your mind you want to run your business you have to make the decision okay quick all right and then let's talk about business plan other than page 77 okay by the way I highly recommend you get a book okay ten dollars five dollars get a book and if you got a book that is on page 77 page 77 right and this is a very very good structure here for those of you if you ever done business plan before I think this is easy but some of you just sitting here and the first time you heard about this and you say what? What is business plan? And some people say, why bother? If I want to run any business, I just go ahead to do it. Well, maybe some, nothing wrong with you if that is your, that's your special way to do it, it's okay. But for this class, I do require you to produce your business plan, okay? And not only for this, and especially for those of you, sooner or later, you, you, you will, you will take another class, cap, capstone. So if you can produce something very good, very good quality for this class, it will be, make your life a lot easier. Okay, when you take uh, capstone, okay. So again, from page 77, I, I don't want to read it, okay. Highly recommend you make a bookmark here, and once in a while you just come back. Just revisit it, okay, what kind of section. You need to pay your attention to it. And this is, this is the format. This is a very, very standard format, okay? Study it. I have a few articles here. Okay, here. I have a one example here. Oh, by the way, um, for those of you, if you have not received my email yet, only two possibility. Number one, you have not provided. So I, th I, I can see two people can you here. That yeah. I, I remember filling it out last week, but I didn't get the email. Okay. I have to ask others. Yeah, students. so as I said, two possibility you have not finished, I, you have not provided to me yet, or oh, you did, but I cannot recognize. So sorry about that. So I sent out twice, at least twice or three times email from last week. So for those of you you never received it, please double check your email. And then uh, for those articles, for sure, every week after class, I will email to you, for sure, okay? Because it's for free. I hope you can get a copy for your, for your learning also as a, as a reference. And this is another example. Okay, this is another example. And this company is an accounting and bookkeeping business. Service time. So today we're gonna talk about your business, okay? Today we're gonna talk about two things. The first thing is somebody else's business. Someone else's business, that is our homework. Who do you think is the next? Who is the next? So put this is somebody else. We're gonna talk about that. And then we're gonna spend our time with about your business. When we talk about your business, you need to tell us, is it service time, is it service, or manufacturing, or any time. For this one, accounting and the bookkeeping, we know this is a service. When we talk about accounting, bookkeeping, by the way, not necessarily this is your business, but when you see this, when you see accounting, bookkeeping, 
any issue in your mind? Or what kind of issues in your mind? If you are running, you're going to run a business is accounting, bookkeeping. Where is the customer? Uh, later on, hold it, hold it. How, how, how do you uh, save the tax? Maybe it's true, but there's one fundamental issue before we talk about that. Who, who is, uh, is going to do that? Close, very close, you are g getting close. Uh, how about you, just you? Just the owner, the owner going to run it. Oh, uh, first of all, I want to know how am I able to make money? Uh, wait, wait for a second. Before it <laughs> get too far, there's one or few fundamental issue we need to get solved before we go further. Remember accounting, bookkeeping? Where's the capital? Where's the capital? Hold it. We'll talk about that. No, license? Yeah, license. 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 So before we talk about, before we go further, okay, because I mentioned accounting, bookkeeping. Bookkeeping may be easier, but when we talk about accounting, making sure license issue. Let me give you one another example, okay? Uh, the other day, just two days ago, one, uh, one of my former client approached me, and he just mentioned a very common business in Cupertino area. Very, very common issue, uh, uh, proposal. And that kind of business is almost guaranteed profitable. That is called after school. <laughs> in that area, I can, I can tell you that is almost guaranteed profitable, all right? But same, same problem. When we talk about this kind of after school, we, we need to talk about what kind of license may be required, all right? Yes, for, so for certain time, and also for high tech, a lot of high tech, you know, same thing. If not the license, maybe royalty, right? You need to get the royalty license or agreement from somebody else, otherwise, Samsung just lose the, the, the lawsuit, right? This is a uh, one point something billion, right? Mm -hmm. This is one point something billion. This is not millions, billion. And not too many companies can make the sales billion dollar and they lost one case. And there's, there's multiple, multiple billion. So probably this is basic. So let's see. Let's just take, oh, by the way, if I forgot to remind me, okay? Because we're gonna link to next next uh, session and write it down. And because for this class, I need to apologize, okay? I, I have a very, very irregular, <laughs> I have a very, very irregular schedule for, for you, sorry about that, so write it down. For our next is uh, September uh, 29th. And for October, we only meet one time, and we meet twice in November. And this is our meeting class next? Yes. Okay. Yes. And maybe you're gonna meet one more time in, in December, let's see what happens, okay, if that is necessary. And it's like the final, I think. Yeah, the final is follow on the school schedule, so you don't have the earlier uh, final. You, you, uh, I'm going to see what is the final day of the school. So I will say that the final project due probably is the second Sunday of December. I can double check. So you don't necessarily December. give me, right, you don't, you don't give me the final in November. So if it's necessary, probably we'll meet one more time in December if uh, we need to meet to help you to finish your final project. Let's see what happens. But at least this is our following schedule. Remind me, if I forgot, for this class, entrepreneurship, there is one very important topic we could not miss. Okay, that is for next. September 29th, and we'll talk about a little bit today. That is business model. Business model. Okay. We will spend a lot of time to talk about business model. Uh, eventually, also in class, I want everybody to discuss. And I hope you can bring in any time business, and then we'll talk about you just mentioned the business. Then we talk about, everybody talk about what kind of business model is. For example, let me, let me just give you one example. Okay. 
How about Amazon.com? I'm sorry. Amazon.com. Amazon.com. Very, very easy. Everybody know about that. Can everybody tell me briefly what is the business model? Okay, let me give you the hint. When we talk about business model, it's very similar to business plan. Very, very similar, but it's simpler. It's not that complete. When we talk about business model, usually we talk about three things, okay? Customer, okay? Or you can expand. Who is the player? So we talk about customer because customer is very important. Okay. Number two, your product. And then number three, you either talk about cash flow. How does the cash come in, cash go out, and finally, from this business model, how does your business make profit? How does your business make profit? So when we talk about business model, it's easier than a lot simpler than your business plan. However, this is very, very important for this class. I want everybody, after you took this class, you have such ability to see. For each business, you see. You see through what kind of business model. Let me give you one example. For the traditional Multi-layer marketing. Some people say bouncy. Bouncy. Bouncy scan. Okay, for any kind of typical multi-layer. When we say multi-layer, we say member, right? Membership, right? When we talk about multiple level marketing, you have a member. Assuming this one is the first original, all right? And he will try to recruit the second layer coming in for the next one. Of course, it could be different variety. All right. But just give you one very typical multi-layer marketing. Okay, by the way, I don't have any uh, judgment or against multi-layer marketing. Some of those are very good. Okay. Some of those, they really help the common people to become very rich. So I don't have any against. Okay. However, there's a label. Even I, I'm not against this kind of the business model, but some people just dislike it. People just hate it, right? So this is a very typical multi-layer marketing. So the original, say, these people, this is the first layer, and he just persuade another person come in and say, in, you enjoy our business, you come in, you pay monthly fee, and some of those, they don't even provide product. But majority is they provide a product. When you come in, you pay the initial fee. And for every month, you need to commit a certain amount of money. And in return, you get the product. Then, but the, 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 that is not the, the major thing. The major thing, you need to recruit your second layer, your next layer, your next layer. And also, according to very complicated calculation, you, each layer you can receive the profit from certain layer. Say so seven layer, how many layer? So this is a very typical multi-layer marketing. All right. So everybody can tell me what kind of business model is. So your analysis is who is a customer. Who is your customer? Or what is the trick point there? Or what is the major thing? What is the major crucial factor to make this multi-layer 
marketing succeed or fail. I can tell you most of them fail, but some of them succeed. And if you are the player, you are in the right place, right time, how you make a lot of money. Oh, let me have one step back. Let me put one step back. How many of you are not familiar with Martinelli? You never heard about that before? Bonzi, Martinelli? But I assume you somehow you, you heard about it, right? Not necessarily you participate, but somehow you heard about it, right? So tell me, who is the customer? When we talk about business model, we talk about customer. Who is the customer for this business model? All the members? So that's a trick point. That's a trick point. Uh, I don't know. I'm not the expert, okay? But if you are really interested, you can do your research. I don't know who is the original creator of this game. But this guy must be very super, super smart. Because the basic business model is doesn't matter what kind of company it is. This person create the customer is your employee. You just change the customer to your employee. And you cannot identify number two, number three, number four, number X. Are you really the employee? Are you the partner? Are you the investor? Are you a shareholder? Eventually, fundamental, you are my customer. Because again, the major factor, okay, the major factor to determine whether or not this modern marketing fair or success is only one major, okay? You need to continually recruiting new member come on. So I can tell you one more bad news, okay? The member eventually is your customer, and unfortunately, you are also my product. You are also my product. On the face, I provide you the product every month. They just, they just a token, and you are my product. I'm selling you. Very bad, because the only factor I can have this business plan or business model keep going is we had to recruit new member coming in. And without the bottom line, without this bottom layer, we crash. We just collapse. We just collapse. Any, any other input? Or you have a different idea? Or you are the expert? I'm not the expert, by the way. I know some, some of people, they are very, very successful in this business. They, they make a million dollars, you know, from this business. And you cannot really say this is illegal. This is legal, right? If you don't involve any fraud, you know, me you know, everybody knows what's going on, and you just bet. You just bet. You must be, as I said, you must be in the right place in the right time. You must be in somewhere here. And a lot of people still come in. And if unfortunately you are the bottom one, sorry about that, <laughs> sorry about that, just like a food chain, you are the bottom, you will be eaten. Right? So, yeah, am I right? So, so one of the purpose for this class is hopefully everybody after you took this class, you can see through for each business what is the basic business model. We need to talk about, okay, Facebook, all right, wow, this idea is not, not, not really new. Another company already tried this already, but Facebook probably is most successful. But who's the customer? And you and me, we use, we are old, I don't know how, I don't know what's our name. When we use a Facebook web subscriber, web user, so what is our position in our Facebook, in the Facebook business model? 
Because without you and me, right? Without you and me, without member, the business model collapse. The Facebook rely you and me, so we we got no pay. We got no pay, right? So again, you know, one of the major purpose for this class is we are talking about business model. Very interesting, and again, for each business. It doesn't matter traditional or brand new. Even before we spend our time, okay, get deeper and deeper to do our business plan, we think about our business model. For those people, we're gonna ask you very soon. Who do you think is the next? We'll talk about that very soon. And when we talk about that, we will talk about. What is there, or is business model? We'll talk about that. You need to tell us what kind of business is, and customer, or player, and what kind of service you provide, and what's the value, and how does the company or the business make profit? And for this kind of scheme, the profit, there's no profit eventually. The profit is on the bottom. For this kind of business, eventually, there's no business. The bottom line is, as long as you have new people coming in, that is cash. The whole business based on the last layer, always based on the last layer, right? So if you look through here, you understand. If you want to join this, it's okay, but you just, you just bet. You must making sure you are getting to in the right place, in the right time. And you know when you get into there, you are the last layer. You are the last layer. You need to make sure somebody else will come in behind you. All right. All right. Here. So, for example, come here. Okay. For this example, you see, same thing. This is another article. It's different from a book. Same thing. Start from executive summary, right? Like this. But you do not spend too much time here, okay? You don't sm spend too much space here. Just very briefly to talk about your business. See here? So maybe one issue you need to talk about is license issue. So when you pick out your business, think about this. Whether or not your business require for any time license. Right? And on the left here, this is the, the outline. So maybe a little bit different from our book, but you can follow this structure, okay? Would you prepare your own business plan? You have exactly summary, then you have a objective like this. Company summary, <coughs> service, market analysis, web plan, strategy, management, financial plan. Okay. You can follow this. This is another example. Okay, so let's begin our discussion. So who want to be the first one to talk about your idea? Who is the, ne who is the next? Maria? Um, I came up with, um, I, I was just starting doing it this morning. It's um, Fonzie. Fonzie buy in. So what kind of what kind of business is? Well, first the the founder saying about you know forget about Facebook, Groupon, etc. And then, you know it, it goes on and on about forget everything about Silicon Valley. And I mean that's just on the second paragraph, and I mean I'm I'm working on it. Okay, that's fine. Where do they base in Silicon Valley or? Or how long the business and what kind of service they provide? Okay, so while you are checking, Alice, you have any idea about your. Um, this is for the homework or yes, the yes. final? Yes, no, yes. No, no, not final. Final, we are talking about final a little bit. So, what's the idea? I'm Who's the next? talking about uh, Pinterest. Have you heard of Pinterest? It's a, it's a company or what? It's a company. It's a company. Where is it? P-I-N-T-E-R-E-S. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. You heard about that, right? Yeah. So um, it's the next popular social networking okay. website. So a lot of kids are already on it, and it's. Do you have any idea how many member right now? How many users already? Um, Roughly. I, I don't have a solid number yet, but the smart thing about this company is that they use Facebook uh, subscribers, Twitter subscribers, and I think their own like subscribing system. Okay. So as long as you have either Facebook or Twitter, you can sign in to Pinterest, and then you can <laughs> look at all the photos, and then you can share them on your Facebook or your Twitter. And that's how they're growing so fast because they're not starting from the bottom; they're starting from another platform that's already built. Okay, so it's another social network. Yes. And try to utilize the Facebook. user from those famous company. Yes. All right. Let's go ahead. Uh, Dr. Song, I don't have the location where they um, are at, but the business is they're specialized in selling paper products. Okay. So it's a business, it's a yeah, product. It's more like a manufacturing yeah. product, so they do provide product. But they, do they have any plan how soon or what year they can produce their product? It doesn't say much. Not yet. I, I probably have, have to research more about this, this company. Okay. For, for my homework, actually I attended to you this morning because tomorrow I have a full schedule, so I cannot do that. So I I'm talking about the uh, AMD, okay. Although it's a you know existing company, so this is a kind of a, uh, a company could be acquired by a lot of the big time, <coughs> like uh, Broadcom. Uh, I didn't mention Broadcom. Uh, Broadcom also be a potential guy, and uh, AMD, Intel, Apple, and also the uh, Samsung. So so because. Uh, AMD is uh, very strong on the computing and the graphic. Uh, they have uh, own a lot of uh, you know, patent IP on that. So whichever company hire that uh, AMD's uh, uh, portfolio, right, uh, they will have a big uh, you know, impact in the whole uh, semiconductor industry, uh, especially for this uh, so-called tablet. tablets. Uh, <coughs> My thinking is the uh, future, the, uh, the laptop and the tablet will merge. Merge, okay. Yeah. So, so whenever you have a business trends, right, so, so will help uh, that, that those are company. So Microsoft also one of them. Because uh, I spent about eight minutes to complete. So I cut off the uh, Broadcom. Mm -hmm. So also Broadcom is a potential. Very interesting, very interesting. Because when I uh, when I proposed this uh, homework, I never thought about uh, the existing company and become the target. Okay, I always thought the brand new company. But very interesting idea. You know what? Because every time you talk about different people, you know, present their idea, then give you a totally fresh idea. Because AMD, if you if we just talk about AMD, it's like, well, a lot of big deal. It's a number two. You know the CPU, you know manufacturing, not big deal. But if you look MD from another totally different <laughs> perspective, it is very good merge target, right? If not from the product but from the merged target, maybe this is a very, very hard company. Think about this, just you know, there's a mention, right? A lot of big giant company they are looking for the company to merge with and even Intel maybe right because if but the, the, the problem is if for Intel to merge maybe right it's very tough because uh, any this kind of number one merge to number two usually will not get approved from the uh, it's F, uh, what's the what's the federal agency they need to approve this because once the number one merge number two, then they dominate the whole market. So usually they want to be denied by the federal uh, government agency. But Microsoft may merge here, yeah. or any other company, or right? Um, yeah. yeah. So, so this very, very interesting idea, you know. By itself, probably the company is not a big deal. But if you look about the merge, 
wow, this is big. Maybe become very, very hot issue, right, Maria? Oh, they're based in San Francisco, California. Okay, all right, thanks. Great, nice to hear about it. Yeah, so, yeah, when we talk about MD, you say MD is next, you say what? But when you heard the details, oh, yes, it makes sense. Because MD maybe is very, very hot target for the merge, maybe, yeah. Ivy? Um, I'm going to talk about Twitter. Twitter, okay. Yeah. Even though, because I think their potential in Twitter, even though there's um, CEOs that they're not going to hurry up to put their company to the public, but I think right now, because everybody is using the mobile um, to block on um, Facebook, Twitter, so, and they are making a lot of profit, and they are looking for like one billion by 2016. Wow, compared to Facebook, and I think a lot of um, people they are disappointed about Facebook's IPO in this year. Yes. So I think Twitter taking a steady like move uh, more than than Facebook. So I think a, a lot of people are looking for Twitter's move too. Okay, I think uh, one thing I think for sure is I think okay, or I guess. The final goal for children is go to IPO. I think almost everybody may agree with it. Right, otherwise, there's no sense you to provide for free. And I think the final goal is once they reach, say, one billion user, their goal is go IPO for sure. Okay? But have you done any research? Do, you, do they have any schedule? Um. You say the CEO say not hurry, but do they have any schedule say not hurry? But I, the reason why I ask this is because I know, or I guess, their final goal is to go IPO. Right. But did you have any idea? Uh, the CEO just uh, made this announcement. You said one year, you said one year to reach one billion user? What was it? 2016. So 16, okay. So three years, four years to go. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Well, I think the, the main issue is that they have to calculate the, the price, I mean, the IPO, the, the starting price very, like, carefully. Okay, let's, let's have one step back, okay? For each, for every social network company, what is the business model? Or we can say, we narrow down the issue, say, how do they make profit? Advertising. Advertising. Advertising based on what? Number of subscribers. Yes, yes. That's the, 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 the game, right? right. That's the game. So you, you must reach the certain amount, number of the user. And then you can calculate how much <laughs> advertising you can sell to. So that's you know, the number number of game. So so even though right now we don't have a schedule or we don't see any schedule. Oh by the way, could you see very quickly who is the major VC of Twitter? Can you see? Are you online? Can you get online? I think if you could get online you can do the Google search very quick. The major VC of Twitter. Because we are talking about the VC very soon. Because when I do the research about is that compared to the Facebook, Twitter is the like, is there Fortune 500 companies, they, they, they will use Twitter more than Facebook to promote their products? Okay. All right. And that's the trend. Do you have an, any quick number? What's the, the, the financial report of Twitter? Maybe not, because Twitter no, is still private here. 15 million. They raised 15 million. Is that what you're asking? There yes, are, VC. There, there, the there major VC. Okay, 140, all right. Yeah. all right. But how about the profit? When we talk about profit? profit. Usually it's profitable, no doubt, because for the networking company, they, they keep the cost very low, you know, they don't have any product, you know, so they don't have to keep the inventory. So usually, mm -hmm. if they have a $170 million, I believe 50% profit, 
easily to keep as profit. Just want to make sure they are in profit, not in the loss. So Maria, did you see the major VC? Oh yeah, VC? it's a, um, Twitter VC funding done versus 15 million. Okay, but we don't see the company. Uh, we don't see. What's that? Who is the the oh, name? Oh, who is the VC? Ah, uh, we don't see. Uh. This fine. We can skip that. If you find it, we just come back. So, Jean, do you have any idea who is the next in, in your mind? This is fine, any kind of business. Okay, yeah. but lately I watched a uh, presentation. Uh, it was about the Google Maps. And then they were doing a really fantastic uh, project on that. And then also I heard about some news about the Google current projects. Uh, so they have enjoyed and uh, they just got their new uh, Nexus 7 uh, tablet. So I was a big uh, hit before like, when they are launching the mm -hmm. Google search. So I think that they probably will become the next big hit again. Okay. And come back to Nielsen's idea, okay. Um, we, we can follow up Nielsen's idea. While we are talking uh, who is the next, and another branch is who is the next will be merged. Because for those big companies, Google, Facebook, Apple, those are Oracle, whatsoever. You know for those big companies, they are looking for the target every day. One of the development for this major player, not just develop their own product, you understand, right? Every day they open their, their eyes, open their ears, try to find the target like MD. Right? And Jane just mentioned, Google also looking for the target to merge every day. And you know they merge YouTube is so successful. It's a big deal. Right? So another idea is who do you think other than MD we mentioned already could be the big target to be merged by a big company? Any idea in your mind? But while we are thinking, we just going. We have two topics right now on the floor, okay? One is who is next to go to IPO? Who is the next big company you think may go IPO? And at the same time, you can talk about who may be the existing company but will be merged. It's a very popular target to be merged by another big company. Where is my uh, sign sheet? Are you looking for just one visit? There's quite a bit. Oh, you found already? I mean, there's a lot. Just give us.